Hey, I'm Vic, or Vic so one two three. I've just moved into my new home, and I have invited Gymshark along to help me build the most awesome home gym that I could get in the house. So, let's see how it went. So, for anyone watching that might not know who I am, I make a lot of YouTube videos. I've been doing this for 10 plus years. It started in a lot of gaming stuff, and uh, I saw a lot of my friends go through incredible fitness transformations, KSI, Bazinga, and uh, that really motivated me to say, hey, why don't I try the same thing? We were filming a video at Hi Jingo for our More Sidemen channel, and one of the challenges was a press up competition. So, uh, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump into this give it a shot and somehow, uh, you know, form questionable, but I managed to, to win that and I jokingly tweeted that to Gymshark, not expecting much to come of it, saying, you know, in a joking way, let's sponsor me, let's do something. But actually, um, they got in touch with me and we had a little chat and realized that my new home gym would be a perfect excuse to work together and the rest was history. So the room that is planned to be my gym Looks nothing like a gym. It's got this bizarre red counter when the almost entirety of the rest of the house is black and white. So I've no idea where that came from or why it's there. I don't know, it doesn't feel right um, for working out. It doesn't have that. I feel like it's really important the space you're working out in. You have to get into the mindset of it, especially if it's in your own home. Because in your own home, it's very easy to say, I'm not feeling this, I'm just gonna go downstairs and sit on the, sit on the sofa. So to have the right space is really important. So it needs a full transformation and I want it to be a place that I'm excited to be in and kind of motivated to train in. So it has now been a few weeks, the gym is complete, and it is time to show all of you around. So, let's go. Try to catch me on the night to move. So we are in the gym, I have Richard with me, who is my coach, and uh, also helped design this whole thing. So, yeah. we're gonna go through and see what we've got. First of all, are you happy with the space? I think it's a great, it's actually turned out better than I thought. Like, we actually set it out so they've got space around the cables. Yeah, it's a small space and that's why we had to kind of work on the key things. And I think the things that we said is, yeah, it needs, it needs a half rack, it needs a cable machine. Yeah. And once you've got those, everything else can work. Yeah. But let's, let's start going through stuff. So here we have dumbbell racks, which um, we've got to go from, we've got three, four, five, seven and a half, up to, I think, 25. So the aim is to be doing everything. With yeah. these boys at the bottom here. We've even got some ones and twos over there if you're really going to start to struggle. So. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're going to total fatigue. Yeah, but we've got the real stuff over here. Bang! Incredible. The quality of this machine. It's actually nice the way that it's done because it's not a huge space, but we have a lot of space with the way it's kind of packed away. The quality of the half rack is incredible. The Nautilus machine is one of the top, top of the range. Super strong, super stable. The bar's excellent. I'm, I'm really happy. Really happy about it's come out. Got a special requested bumper plates that yep. you got in here and you were like, we need we need bumper plates. Yeah, so we've got like fives and tens that are smaller, but if we're gonna really do deadlifts and other exercises that you know maybe sometimes we'll start with a lighter weight, you actually want the weight to be so far off the floor. This bench as well, this is the heaviest bench I've ever experienced in my life. Top quality. And now we move along, we have the dual cable machine which we've already done loads of really unique stuff um, just with like different handles. But yeah, you could pretty much, you can work out every muscle with this if you know what you're doing and that's where you come in because you know so many different exercises that we can do with this. But you can literally do an exercise for every single muscle group. We've got multiple attachments for it and um, it adjusts right from the bottom to the top, several, you know, lots of different ranges so we can hit everything on here. In the back, we've got another shelf with a load of attachments. We've got a couple of boxing gloves, my favorite, pretty pink boxing gloves. I use these when I'm particularly um, angry. And then we've got some kettlebells, different attachments all here. This is a nice little storage unit. We've got the, uh, the punch bag here that is it's gonna get punched. Please not call me out for a fight. Um, but I think it's just a fun way to do cardio in it. And again, it just works different muscles. And I did some pad work with Richard and he started hitting me with the pads and I just- I Well, you learn pretty quick, so yeah. nobody better call him out for a fight anyway, you learn pretty quick. <laughs> 
So the other thing that we have that is amazing that we've done is bang, we've got the lighting, but also you can change it depending on what kind of what kind of a vibe you're on. Off the side of the gym, of course, this gym has been put together by Gymshark themselves. So we've got the Gymshark logo glowing. So we were thinking about getting rid of this kitchen area, but actually we have enough space to do everything that we need. So then we can store drinks and snacks and whatever we need. I can just be behind here, you know, people working hard on the drink. I can be serving out free workouts. So, yeah, put some DJ decks right here and I can really get the tunes going for the people working out. So, <laughs> so we've shown you everything the gym has. It is now time to use it. It is gonna be chest and shoulders day yep. for me. Um, and what are we gonna do? What are we gonna start with? We are gonna go for a one rep max on the bench. We haven't actually tested Vic's one rep max for about three months now. So his personal best is 75. Yes, at 65 kg body weight. So it's getting there, it's getting there. More than that, more. We need a bit of noise. Though. Go on, Vic! <laughs> now when you tuck in, don't take your elbow out over there. Keep it underneath the bar. Kilograms, not pounds. You get a lot of people that are like, 20 pounds either side, what do you mean? It's like, kilograms, they're, they're a bit heavy. This is the first time I ever benched, so here you go, you've got me. You've got little, little 54 kg Vic. This is me with a 50, yeah, it is, it is, it's done for. There's just nothing really to push. That's before I'd ever bench, so we just did two reps at 10 kg more than that. So every improvement is different, but we're making one. We've got a failed 50 there, so this is 70 now, so 20 kilograms more. Okay, yeah. control, set, ready. Okay. Ow, I want it solid and smooth. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go, mate. There we go, nice and useful PB for all of you keeping up with the uh, antics of Vic in the gym. Look, it's nowhere near a lot of people's uh, one rep max, but it's mine, so I'm happy with it. And um, yeah, you can start from any point, and it's just about being your personal best, and eventually you'll get someone good. Ah, ah, I need to learn to shut my mouth, I always do this. And we're going to do cable, cable fly. As if my chest has not already suffered enough. <laughs> Huge thanks to Gymshark for helping me build this amazing gym. We'll see you all soon. Goodbye.